but you start practicing consciously generating the things that pop up in your reality. And more and more you actually start to, that what first feels like, oh, it's me overpowering my reality, or me dominating it with my frequency of choice. It's me spilling over and like just bombarding my experience with the frequency of my choice. That is only initially the sense. But at some point it becomes the realization that that's how creation is. That's how it works. And so the sense of, oh, me over here, am overpowering this starts to dissolve. And it becomes just an inseparable singular creation. But you realize every moment that that's what you are painting in that picture just like in your dream at night, if you say, have a lucid dream. It's no different. So practice with me at this moment and paste onto me whatever you want me to be. What would you prefer me to be? What would this relationship between you and I, what would it most ideally be like? And force that upon me. And that's the words I need to use because we've assumed that we're victims. Otherwise, I wouldn't have to use these forceful words. But since you are stuck in a state that's not real, the sense of your being separate from your reality, to counter that, let's use the word force, and force upon me what you desire me to be, energetically. See only your preference. Leave me no choice to be any other way. But be very present in that way. Be very sincere in that way. Have your integrity be there. Have your presence be there. It's not just a thought. It's a presence. You have to overpower it with presence. You have to manifest it. You have to generate that experience consciously. Because you do that normally, you do that from a state of high, super high, fine-tuned presence, high-frequency state. That's from where you generate rea reality. So you need to sort of match that in order to get some results and in order to become more conscious of the fact that this is what you're doing all the time. You are God. You are God. There's nothing else that you are. You are God. So overwhelm me with you. What would you prefer me to be? I start undressing, I start dancing, so all these different things. <laughs> but you see, even if I don't do the thing that you perhaps demanded me to do or become, that does not change a single thing for you. All you keep seeing is your preference. All you keep feeling is your preference. In your mind, in your consciousness, I still am what you desire me to be, no matter how I act, no matter what I say, no matter what I think, no matter how doubtful it may seem, no matter how unsuccessful your generation may seem, that does not matter to you. You still see, perceive in that. You still dominate your reality with your chosen preference. All you see is your preference. Now here's one of the most powerful keys. That is one of the most powerful keys to becoming conscious again of the fact that you are a God, that you are a creator. It's to actually practice overpowering, overwhelming your reality with your chosen presence, your chosen frequency. And then you start to really fall in love with your reality, with your creation. You start to actually become one with it rather than just think that there is unity, but you still feel like you're a victim of an external reality that never existed to begin with. Just as in your dream at night, there is no external reality. So when you start practicing and forcing your preference up on your reality, and this does not mean you go and lose your integrity and do whatever the fuck you want to everyone. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that your experience is becoming overpowered. You're overpowering your experience of what is with only your preference with complete respect for the theming existence of other people's free will. However, all you see, all you experience is your preference, regardless of how they respond, regardless of what they say, regardless of. This does not only work for relationships, this work for any, works for anything. Your career, anything you want to generate, but also just your everyday experiences, your own body, how do you want to feel. You can, regardless of what appears, you can choose to see and manifest and generate only your preference, only your preferred state. So initially that may feel like you're overpowering your reality. That's okay. Just practice that. Get the hang of it. Instead of asking, oh, what's this reality all about? You decide what it's all about. You see, and that's what it's all about. So there's your answer. You are here to be a creator, not a victim. We are all lost sheep. We have forgotten the fact that we are gods and goddesses, and we're not here to find things out. Not really. Yes, this is about learning, but we're not really here to discover things as such. We are here to create things that have never been created before. We are here to generate 
And how do we generate? We generate according to our true desires, to our true inspiration. And so take your inspiration, take your desire, take your preference, your true heart's preference, not just, oh, I want a lot of money so I won't have debt. Not those kinds of preferences. Those are irrelevant. You can practice with those two. That's fine. That's excellent. You can do the secret stuff. What I'm talking about is a really high, fine-tuned, intentional state of love light that can have any shape. That diamond of love light can have any has many facets. It can be bliss, it can be excitement, it can be inspiration, it can be love, it can be compassion, it can be integrity, it can be sincerity, it can be anything really, joy. But one of the facets of that high vibrational love light of the one infinite creator, you take that, you tap into that, and you dominate your reality with it. You don't care what anyone else thinks. You don't care what anyone else says. You don't care what anyone else acts like. Doesn't mean, again, that you're not present to these beings. It simply means that all you interpret and all you perceive and all that you generate is the state, the state, the mind state, the thought state, the, the energy state of your preference. That's all you do. It doesn't matter what they say. So again, it doesn't mean that they have to start acting in certain ways. But you'll see that when you start exuding your preference and when it really is in alignment with your higher self and quote unquote their higher self, even though there is no external reality, then it does start happening in that way and they do start responding in that way. But not because you told them to, not because you dominated, but because you generated that frequency that took you into the parallel reality where that which was in highest best interest for quote unquote both of you is now becoming manifest. It's because you did not hesitate. It's because you did not doubt. It's because you did not become a seeker. You did not become a questioner. You did not feel like you were present in a universe that already existed that you had to take your cues from. You see, there is no universe that already exists that you have to take your cues from. That universe, my friends, does not exist. It has never, ever been present. It has been made up by whom? By you. You have created, you have generated the illusion of an external reality that you somehow have to listen to. So you generate a reality that seems external for you. You, re you generate a focal point of a body-mind, and then you generate the thought process that the focal point of the body-mind is somehow not the focal point of the environment or everything else. And then you generate the thought, well, what it means like to be sociable or what it means like to be honorable or what it means like to be compassionate is to really regard that reality outside of myself as the end-all be-all. I have to listen to what mommy and daddy says. I have to listen to what happens to me from the outside. If I don't, I'm being arrogant, I'm being egotistical. But you see, you generate Katrina. You generate the effects from the outside in. You generate the other person. You generate the sense of separation. You generate the focal point of the body-mind. There has never been that world that you feel that is external to you that you need to listen to. That is a thought.